Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back with another video. Right now, we're going to make some gu guacamole. I almost couldn't pronounce that. But first of all, I got to give an honor to God, who's the head of my life. Can't do this life without him. And I hope you guys out there are doing great. So, let me tell you what I have. <clears throat> I got two uh, avocados here. And I have uh, one, I say maybe one or two tomatoes, a red onion. I don't have a lime, so I'm using lemon. And a chipotle pepper. And I might add some red pepper uh, in that also because I love red pepper. So what I'm going to do is get all my vegetables washed up, cut up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I done washed all my vegetables and got them all nice and clean. Now, right now, I'm getting ready to go in and cut this. I'm going to start from the bottom. Very easy to cut. I just go around. I move the avocado. I do not move the knife. Let's hope this avocado is right. Yes, I picked a good one. So what I'm going to do with this avocado is slice it, go real, take your time and do this, guys. I'm actually cutting my avocado in little chunks right now. Now I take my spoon, go around the flush, the skin rather, and get all that avocado up out of there like so. And you're just going to let it fall into your bowl. Guys, if you have not ever had avocado, oh my goodness, it is so, so good, especially in guacamole. Yes, it is. So, now what I do to take out that pit there, get the knife there, and just move it, it takes it out just like that. I just pulls it off. That's a giant seed. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'm making some guacamole to go with my nachos tonight. I'm gonna have me some nachos for uh, dinner. And uh, I want some of this on the side. Actually, I'm gonna put it on my uh, nachos, actually. And plus, I have some for tomorrow that I can just get some chips. And you can eat it by itself. I love eating it by itself. Very good. Now, let me cut up another one here. Like I say, I just put it in and I move the avocado, guys. Easy way to cut that. Be very careful so you won't cut yourself. Good. I'm going to repeat the same thing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to spoon this out. So I'm going to get the other one done. And start cutting up this stuff. Okay, getting ready to cut up my onion real quick. Mm -hmm. Just cut it up. I don't think I'm going to use all of this because you don't <clears throat> need that much in there. I think that will do it. So let me cut this up in little pieces here, like so. Yes, avocado. Hey guys, this is very good. You can put this over toast uh, in the morning. You could eat it with chips. It goes good on burritos, tacos. Yes, it do. Because now I don't have a lime, so you can uh, substitute it with a lemon. I didn't pick up a lime. I thought I had some at home when I was at the grocery store, guys. Yes, I did. So, I'm just putting all of this to the side like this. 
and we're going to cut up our tomato. Oops, you guys can barely see me. Let's move this onion over just a little bit. Push it to the side. <laughs> All right, so you guys can see me cut this here. Now, what I'm going to do is take this spoon and just uh, spoon out the, the seeds of the tomato like that. Because you don't want your avocado to be, you know, this will make it watery. So, just gonna grab the little seeds out like so. Once we do that, we cut the ends off. We don't want to have those end pieces in our... Uh... And then we just commence to chopping uh, our tomato up like so. <clears throat> mm hmm I don't know. I might want more tomatoes in this. It's like making a pico de gallo, guys. But the only thing I don't have is that fresh cilantro. I like my tomatoes in bigger chunks, just like that. I don't have no, um, oh man, fresh cilantro. So I'm going to have to use dried cilantro. I mean, that's okay too. But I would prefer the fresh cilantro. That's okay. I'm getting ready to plant my seed garden. Getting ready to start that. As soon as I get done cooking and I'm eating, I'm getting ready to. I might even film that. Show you guys how I start my seeds in the house. Yes. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, one tomato was enough. And then, like I say, we have our lemon. So we're just going to cut that in half like so and set that over there. All right, guys, I had to clean my jalapeno and I have to cut that up now. Yep, I almost forgot about putting my jalapeno in there. Oh, dude, got to have that for sure. So we're going to get that cut up. Just doing this really, really quick. Um because I want to get this in the refrigerator so I can get my uh, beef on uh, so I can fry my meat to go over my tortilla chips. And just basically, I don't like a whole lot on my um, nachos, the meat, a uh, little tomato, you know, pico de gallo, I usually make that. But, um, and I still might make that because I want to put that over my um, thing. So, right now what we're gonna do all right before i start uh mashing this up i'm going to take my lemon get that juice out of there just put this squeeze that on in there and let's hit this like so oh wait let's squeeze all that goodness out of there There we go. Now, I squeeze a half of a lemon in mine. Like that. Look at there. Wasn't no seeds supposed to come through this. That's why I used it. <laughs> wow. Oh, there you go. Let me catch that. Get that out of there. All right. Well, that juice is gone. Now, and I'm going to take... Uh, some garlic. Now y'all know I had to come with the garlic now. I just put some minced garlic in here to see can I get it through my garlic masher. You know, just to get it a little bit more finer. Not much garlic now. You don't want much. Just want, you know, just a little bit. Let's see. Nope, I don't think that's going to go down. But you just want just a little bit of garlic. Now, this is, like I say, this is how I make mine. I'm going to remove that spoon. And I'm just going to start using, I use this fork to uh, smash mines like that. Well, yeah. You get it a little mushy, as they say. Probably using the wrong word, but hey, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, guys, try this on toast. The ones that's out there... If you guys like 
guacamole? Put it down in the comment box. I want to know who all like guacamole because I love it. I makes it. My grandkids love this stuff too. Yes. Now me, I don't, I like it a little chunky still, you know, and a little creamy. I put it that way. I think that is good enough for me. Let me just hit it a little bit more. Go around the bowl like so. Oh, this is gonna be going so fast. I'm thinking two gonna be enough. I don't think so. Two avocados. I should have got at least four. Made a big bowl of this because this might be gone tonight, guys. I'm not even gonna kid you. This might be gone tonight. All right, I think I got it mashed up about just like I want it. all this stuff from around the bowl like that all right now we're going to start putting our uh stuff in our bowl. all right we're going to put our jalapenos in that's why i didn't want to cut up that whole onion put about that much of that onion in there i'm not even going to put this, all that onion in there Mm -mm. A little bit of red pepper. Just a little dash of do. Now we're going to put in all our tomatoes, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to make some uh, pico de gallo so I would use that. The rest of that onion to make that uh, pico de gallo with. And stir it up. Like so. It is so easy to make, guys. I'm just going to fold it because you don't want it to get... Uh, you want to keep those little chunks in there. Guys. Love it. Let me move you guys back a little bit where I can... Now, like I told you guys, I don't have no fresh cilantro, so I'm going to have to go in with some cilantro here. Now, you taste as you go. Uh, do this here. We're going to go in with a little bit of ground cumin, like so. A little bit of black pepper. Alrighty. Now you can put, um, if you want it a hotter, put some cayenne pepper in that, guys. Yes. And we'll go in with a little sea salt. Like so. Alright, that should do it. Now we're going to give this a good fold. Fold all those seasonings in there like that. It don't take a lot of seasonings neither to make this. This stuff is just good. All right, guys, I am going to taste it. So let me get a chip. Okay, guys, I need a little bit more salt. Mm-hmm. And a little bit more lemon juice. So we're going to put that other half of lemon in there. Yeah, I'm missing that line, but that's all right. Lemon juice is good. <laughs> All right, let's squeeze that in there, like so. But it's good. You just want to taste that tanginess of that lemon. Let me taste it one more time before I even put a... Uh... God, I wish I had some fresh uh, cilantro. Nice. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, guys, that is so good. Mmm, 
There it is right there. There I go. Now what I'm going to do is put this in my refrigerator. Let it get a chill on it. While I go over here and fry my hamburger meat. Just make my meat up. And uh, put my nachos together. Okay, ladies and gentlemen out there. Here we go. Every time I make me a plate of nachos, I always make it too big. But that's okay. So the rest of the hamburger, I'm going to save for tomorrow and make a burrito out of that. But this is what the nachos came out, guys. I am a very simple person when it comes to nachos. I just want the meat, cheese, and the pico de gallo and my um, uh, guacamole. That is it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a little something showing you what I'm having for dinner tonight. And like I always say, keep your head up, keep the faith, and stay safe out there, guys. And I will connect with you guys in my next video. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.